How to survive animal encounters and possible attacks. What to do if you are charged by a bear or a leopard? Would you run or stare at them in the eyes? Or if you're swimming and encounter a crocodile or a shark, would you swim away or be ready to fight? Knowing how to prepare yourself for an encounter can save your life. Here are the best tips on how to survive a wild animal encounter and live to tell the story. If you like this video, subscribe and in the comments tell us about the wildest animal survival story you have ever heard of. And for some extra fun, find our mascot net hiding throughout the video. Elephant You're in Asia or Africa enjoying a wildlife expedition. Going for a walk in the bushes seemed fun until an elephant spotted you and decided that you are a threat. There are a couple of things you need to know. Elephants can mock a charge, so learn to read their body language if you want to survive. If the ears are fanning out, it's most likely a mock. Watch out if the trunk is up and the ears are pinned back. That's when you know you are in trouble. Experts say that you should stand still even though all your instincts are telling you to run and make noise. I know, I am sure screaming will happen whether experts tell you or not. The most important thing, don't run. They run much faster than you. Lion. Don't think that all big cats are the same. They are definitely not. Lions are said to be the kings of the jungles of southern Africa and as kings make sure you respect their space. If you ever encounter a lion, stare at them in the eyes and do not break eye contact. As intimidating as that could be, as you stare it down, back away so very slowly. Don't run, you know better than that. Lions have a mock attack, like elephants do. So, if he charges towards you, raise your arms to heaven and look as big as you can while making as much noise as you can possibly muster. If jumping and making noises is a challenge, you may want to have some spare meat. A lion is not living on an empty stomach. Sharks our lives forever change with the movie Jaws. Swimming in the ocean will never be the same after that movie. It created such fear of sharks that their population dropped significantly due to massive fear-based shark hunting. With over 400 species of sharks around the world, most sharks are not aggressive. They will attack if they feel threatened or attracted by your bright choice of swimsuits. Now keep an eye for the great whites and tiger sharks. These two are probably the ones you will encounter, even on fresh water. Tiger sharks have adapted to living in rivers and lakes in many parts of the world, including Australia and even North America. So what to do? If you are ever in a situation where you feel you may be the appetizer, stay calm and keep them in front of you. It's futile to swim away. If you manage not to panic, hit the sensitive areas such as their eyes, nose, or gills. If possible, get out of the water or lean against anything you can find so they cannot circle you. Monkeys. If you are heading to a place where monkeys are the attraction, here are several things you can do to avoid an attack. Anything from removing all your jewelry, glasses, and anything that monkeys may want to steal from you. Yeah, that includes your purse and camera. And if you pull your camera out and the monkey smiles, you better start worrying. The monkey is not saying cheese. That's a big sign of aggression. But don't run or make funny noises, unless a bacteria-ridden bite is what you want as a souvenir. I got bitten by a monkey when I was a kid. I didn't know the monkey was showing its teeth, not smiling at me when I was looking at him straight in the eyes. So many red flags. But there you see me again. 
tiger. It seems like the most common advice you will get when faced with a wild animal is to remain calm and in most cases don't make any sudden moves. As you explore the Asian jungles, including the northern China or Russia, keep an eye on tigers. One of the best advices given by the natives of the Ganges Delta in India, where tiger attacks are a regular occurrence, is to wear a two-faced mask. That's because tigers like to hunt from behind, so what better way to make them wonder what way to approach you without being seen? According to accounts, this is by far the best way to protect yourself from turning into a meal. But if for any reason you forget your mask, keep in mind that tigers are not good climbers. If there are no trees in sight, look big and brave while making noise. Just make sure your voice is not shaky. Now, out of respect for male tiger's territory and for him or any other male wild animal, do not pee on anything. You do not want to be perceived as a threat. That may be taken as a challenge you will most likely lose. Brown bear or grizzly bear? Valentine's Day. Chocolate and bears come to mind. So huggable and fluffy. But the real grizzly, it's a sight to be seen from afar. Brown or grizzly bears enjoy a large variety of meats, such as fish, elk, moose, and sometimes humans. When walking on bear territory, keep in mind that you may not only be seen as a tasty treat, but a threat to them and their cubs. So besides keeping your distance and your campground clean with the food hang up in trees, if you ever encounter a grizzly, don't look at them in the eyes. Speak softly and stand tall while slowly backing away. If for any reason the bear decides to charge you, don't run. These approximately seven hundred pounds of muscles will catch up with you very fast. So you have two options. Either play possum and cover your neck while finding the opportunity to throw a right hook straight to its nose, or use its body mass to your advantage by climbing up a tree. Nowadays, like with mosquitoes, there are bear repellents that you can get before heading towards adventure. Anacondas or pythons. When you travel through the jungles, you'll be happy to know you most likely not encounter an anaconda, or in Asia, a python, unless you like to explore the tropical forest and enjoy the beauty and wilderness of the area. While in the Amazon rainforest, the tour guide told us about the lake in Isla Ronda, where not even the aggressive and dangerous African cave buffaloes that roam the area would approach. No caimans, jaguars, nothing. He said that the reason was that there was an anaconda. And if you got a chance to see it, well, it will be the last thing you would ever see. Pythons and anacondas can grow to be almost as big as a school bus. So if you are that unlucky, there is a trick to help you free yourself. These coming from experts. Run. Run as fast as you can. Don't let it catch you. If it does, game over. Deer. Who will think deer will make it to the list of animals to watch out for? But you will be surprised to know that there are higher rates of casualties involving deer than with any other animals described here. Car accidents in winter involving deer are more likely since in many northern countries, salt is used to melt the ice that accumulates on the roads. At night, driving can be even more dangerous. Deer get startled easily and will jump in front of your car faster than you can brake. To solve the dilemma, Finland paints the antlers of reindeer with reflective paints as we saw in the video about reindeer. Now, 
If you decide to hike instead of drive, be aware that deer are very territorial. So don't startle them and do try to run away if you can. They will come at you, lift their front legs and start kicking you until you drop. So make lots of noise when you walk. It will keep not only deer away from you. Leopards. Unlike lions, never make eye contact. Leopards, who inhabit South Saharan Africa and parts of Asia, are related to jaguars of the Americas. Their spots are known as rosettes because they look like roses. This gorgeous cat is very agile and can lift its freshly cut dinner up the trees. So, in this case, don't climb a tree, unlike with tigers. You'll make it very easy for them to come up and get you. If a leopard comes charging, look brave and make tons of noise. Last thing leopards like is to call unwanted attention from other predators who will be attracted by the noise. Now, as soon as you're safe, remove yourself from the area. You don't know who else noticed you. Alligators, crocodiles, pretty much anywhere in the warmer parts of the world, you will encounter a version of any of them. So be very careful. These reptiles and humans live side by side, like in the Florida Everglades, where humans have encroached on their habitat. Both alligators and crocodiles are so smart that they will study the movement patterns and schedules of their potential meals. So as a safety precaution, don't take your animals near the water at the same time every day. Although we humans are not seen as much of a tasty dish, in case one of them is hungry enough to want to munch on you, don't let it latch on you and begin its death row. At that point, it's too late. But if you are in its jaws, jab its eyes and nose as hard as you can. They are the most sensitive and closest spots to you. Black bears. Smaller than the grizzly bears, black bears are more interested in honey, deer, salmon, and insects than on you. Most of the black bear attacks occur due to hunger or, like with any wild animals, mothers are protecting their offsprings while males their territory. Besides repellent and not startling a bear, black bears differ from grizzlies in their ability to climb trees. So, this time, if you encounter a black bear, do not climb a tree. Roll and play possum who fakes their demise and cover your neck. Fatalities are greater with this smaller bear than with grizzlies, so don't let size fool you. Al says, Moose or elk, depending on where in the world you are. Wild moose in North America or in Eurasia is the elk. Both live in colder climates, so to make it easier, I will use their species name, Alsis. Alsis are very, very aggressive and will charge you to protect their territory. Or, of course, their offsprings. At about six feet tall to their shoulder, it should be very easy to keep away. But if for any reason you are at its bull's eye and it starts to stump its feet, grunt, throw its neck back and forth, you are being told to back away. And that's exactly what you need to do. With your palms facing the bull and speaking softly as if calming a child. It will most likely mock charge you like elephants and lions and grizzly bears do, but if it keeps coming at you, find a rock or a tree to protect yourself or play possum again and protect your neck. Wolverine. The likelihood of encountering a wolverine is not that high, unless you like to roam in the wilderness of the northern boreal forest of Europe and the Americas. As large as a medium-sized dog, wolverines are muscular powerhouses adapted for climbing. They are remarkably strong for their size. Wolverines have been known to hunt for prey three times larger than themselves. They are aggressive and hungry for some juicy meat. 
like rabbit, deer, moose, and as long as you don't appear injured, you'll be okay. So the next defense mechanism with a wolverine is to always look taller, stronger, and better than them. How like a wolf if you have to? They are their natural predator, even if you're terrified. Wolves. A lone wolf may not be a huge threat to you unless it's injured or you're near its cubs. You do need to be wary of the wolf pack. If you happen to be walking in the woods and encounter a pack of wolves, don't run, but do scream or shout while lowering your gaze and looking as big as you can. As you walk slowly backwards, make sure to not fall, cause that will be the end of the story for you. If you're lucky to be near water, use this as a escaping route. They are not going to follow you. By the way, dogs are descendants of wolves, so this may also apply to them. If you like this video, you definitely want to check out our new channel, Life Hack It. We're going to do tips and tricks, and we're going to experiment on the table and try different things that work, and some of them don't work, but that's what makes it really fun. So check it out. Also, for extra footage, check us out on Facebook at Life Hack It. Thank you for watching this video about how to survive an encounter with a wild animal. Until next time.